they begin yeah. us. We must learn to fight them in a correct way. So many believers do not know how to deal with the demons and put them to flight every time they show up. There are people right now are dealing with demonic spirits that will not leave them alone. Demonic spirits which are persistent and determined. They are seeing things appear and disappear in front of their eyes. They are experiencing moments where inanimate objects move around their house and there is no one moving them. They experience furniture being moved or they themselves are harassed by demonic spirits and no matter what they try, the demon spirit will not leave them alone. Demons won't leave you because you are a Christian. They will only fear you when you know how to deal with them in a way they cannot resist. Luke 4 verse 13 says, And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. This passage shows us that the devil and his demons are stubborn. After the temptation of Jesus and his victory over the devil, what the Bible says is that the devil only departed from him for a season. The devil kept coming to Jesus even after then. Do you remember Jesus saying to Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan? That shows that the devil kept coming to him. Jesus dealt with the devil every time he came around him. If you always want to be victorious over demons, you have to put Jesus right in front of you. Let me show you how that works. Demons are spiritual goodness, and you cannot defeat them by your spiritual strength. The only way to overcome them is to look out for the one that has gained victory over them, and that person is Jesus Christ. If you will gain victory over demons every time, you have to put Jesus in front of you. And that means that Jesus will be able to you and the demons.